Well, Gary, how are you feeling after that? No, I'm, uh, I'm disappointed, you know, because I think we're a better team for the, in the duration of the game. But, you know, w what eventually has beat us is the way that we've defended for their goals. You know, I've said that to the players and, the, you know, even at half-time there wasn't any ranting and raving because we weren't actually playing that bad. We had as many chances as, um, as Dundee United, but... At any level of football, especially at this level against a team like Dundee United, you can't you can't defend how we defended. And at the end of the day, um, however proud I am of the players for a second half performance, the defending for the three goals is what's cost us being in the final. And it's disappointing because for me, we should have been in the final because we were the better team. Certainly a frustrating afternoon. Yeah, it's difficult as a manager, you know, because you can't really. You know, the only thing I can be unhappy with the players is, is those three goals. You know, even you know, credit Dundee United, their finishing was great. I think they might have had four or five chances and they scored three. So credit to them for that. But for us, uh, we need to look at the video on that because if we've got any hopes of getting into the playoffs, we'll have to cut out defending like that. And it, it was sort of in that first half, it was sort of back to, to, to how we were maybe 10 or 11 games ago when we first came in, the sort of goals that we were giving away. Um, so that isn't good enough. The players know that. Very hard to be too... Uh, criticise them too much when, when the effort that we've put in and listen, I, I'm honest with you, I think we were a better team And I'm sure that the players themselves when they look back, especially the first two goals, they'll be... Yeah, they're hurting you know, the third goal's a, a really top draw finish to be fair, you know, but there's a couple of mistakes in the lead up to it that we can do better but the first two goals isn't good enough um, and three, now, three minutes in, you're one now doing against Dundee United, we're hoping to try and turn that the other way, get them under pressure make them nervy on the back of that week last week, that lets them settle down we're still carrying a threat going forward but then we get away a, a poor second goal and at 3-0, you know, I said to the players at half-time, you know, there wasn't a raised voice, there's that. It was one of them that you have to show this another test for you now. You're 3-0 down you've got to stay together as a team and win the second half, really. I said, if you get an early goal, you never know what will happen. Very unlikely that you'll get four goals back, but you never know. And that was only that was a pleasing thing for me, that in the second half, we showed that we were a team. We, I thought we completely dominated the second half. We were camped in their box. We had chances upon the, after the two goals and before the two goals. Uh, and on another day, another one of them would have went in. And I think, I honestly believe, if we had scored that second goal with 10 or 15 minutes to go, I believe we would have, we would have went on and, um, and, and, and got an equaliser. 3 0 at half time. A lot of people wouldn't believe you if you actually said Queens were the better team. I don't, I don't know if we were a better team, but what I would say was we had as many chances as them. They defended better than us, we were wasteful with our chances. Um, so, very difficult. It's a difficult one. I don't think there's a way that you can be proud of losing. Um, this is probably about the happiest I'll ever be at losing a game, even though I, I'm, I feel for the players, I feel for the fans, because it would have been good for us to get to a final for the whole club, the chairman, the directors, the players, and I think our performance deserved us to be in the final, but unfortunately, our, our, sorry, our attacking performance deserved for us to be in the final. Unfortunately, our defence's performance has cost us in the first half, and it's black and white, really. That's why we're not in the final. You just can't give teams like Dundee no, United... You can't give anybody in this league, anybody at all. You cannot give anybody three goals of your stat. Um, and that's what we need to learn and work on, and that's what we need to show the players on Tuesday. The thing about this as well is, you know, it, it was a semi-final, and as you say, to, not to get to that final, kind of... Yeah, it's, it's disappointing, you know, because you don't know when you're going to get to semi-finals. <laughs> in your career, I stressed that to the players at the start, but I thought there was a real edginess about us at the start of the game, I don't know why, you know, it started with the kick-off, we gave it straight to Dundee United, and then Lee had a couple of uh, kicks that nearly got closed down, or, or he sclaffed them along the ground, and it set a nervousness, and I don't know why we had it, because we had beat Morton 3-0 here, the players should have been confident, and they should have been starting the first half, how we actually played for the whole of the second half. Um, and as I say, at the end of the day, that, you know, I can stand here, I can talk and say I'm happy about that, happy about that. At the end of the day, the way we've defended for the first two goals especially has cost us a place in the final. And nobody really wants to lose at all, but certainly when you get to a semi-final. No, you don't. I don't want to lose at all. You know, even in that friendly against Aloha, we, we got beat, you know, in 1-0 and I was trying a few things out. That still hurts me that we're losing. I don't want to lose. I want the players to get into that mentality. The positive thing was the way we played in the second half and finished the game. And we now need to look to carry that on. I've just spoke to the players already saying, look, we'll analyse this game on the video. But we need to now focus on putting everything into the games one at a time to try and get into the playoffs. Um, you know, it's got to be extremely difficult. We're 10 behind Falkirk. We've got a game in hand. We just need to start picking up more three points and, 
than not uh, and see where it takes us, you know, and that's what we'll need to do. That's what I was just going to say to you, your focus can now be fully on Yeah, you know, champion. it's disappointing, I'll be hurting for over the weekend, coming in on Monday, you know, I've got to lift the players, and we need to we need to now focus on the league when we come back in, you know, and Wraith have got a good result today, uh, under a new management team, they'll be looking to stamp their authority on their team, the way they want to play, it'll be an interesting game next week, John Hughes' teams generally always play football, um, and we need to try and get back to winning ways next week, you know, and it, you know, you can't, we can't afford many slip-ups now if we're, if we're going to try and catch the teams above us.